All right, guys, so today we're gonna talk about quartz crystal. It's a very, very valuable resource. It is required for some of the top tier traps. Um, it is impossible to ever keep enough of if you are using some of these rare traps. You can eat through this stuff like wildfire in addition to quartz being a primary resource in the crafting of all crystal slash shadow shard sunbeam weapons. Uh, quartz crystal is an essential component and you're gonna eat up a ton of it. So it's very important to recognize its rarity, recognize its value and recognize all the situations where you can potentially maximize the amount of quartz that you're getting uh, to maintain your resource stashes. So we're gonna talk about everything quartz today. All right, guys, if you like our, our content, if you like what we're doing here, please use our supporter creator code. It really goes a long way to helping us be able to do what we're doing, guys. So thank you so much for the support. All right, let's get right into it. Quartz crystal. So there are a few different ways of gathering quartz crystal. The number one way, by far, no question, is your your expeditions. Now, the expeditions, I make sure that I do this every single day. You go to your command tab, you go to your heroes tab, you go down to expeditions, and you are looking for these things right here, the crafting supplies. The bigger the power level, the more you're going to get. The best one that you can possibly get is a 685 power level crafting supplies large. This is where you will get the highest um, tier of resources. You're going to be basically collecting tier four resources and the biggest amounts of, of gains. So if you're trying to get the, the most of the most, you know, you really want to get a, a large arsenal of 130 uh, heroes that you can send out on these expeditions to really, really get a high yield for for these different crafting materials. Quartz being the one that we're focused on today. Quartz is, honestly, it's incredible. Um, getting quartz out of the 685 can mean that you're gonna get anywhere between 10 or 40 quartz. So you can get a lot of quartz from the expedition. So I cannot stress enough how important it is to really push for the high power level uh, crafting supply missions, uh, quartz. It is. It's the fastest, easiest way in the entire entire game that you can get your hands on this stuff. Um, you know, forty quartz is like the equivalent of, uh, oh man, so many games. Like, like five games if you got lucky every single game, with, um, with like the perfect, the perfect mission. So, it'll save you a ton of time. So let's talk about the perfect mission because the perfect missions are the, the second best way that you can actually consistently uh, push out quartz. When you're looking for quartz, it's uh, very good to keep your eyes open for uh, crystal, well, not just crystal, I should say, um, build radar towers or encampment missions because the crystal towers and the crystal encampments, you know, are the best way to get shadow shard in high tier missions. But in lower tier missions, like anything below 88, uh, you're actually going to be getting primarily quartz. If you're in the low twine zone, uh, below power level 88, then you're going to have a high chance of getting a mixture of both quartz and of shadow shard. But if you're in Malachite country, you know, anywhere around 76 or 70 or lower, that is where you'll be getting primarily Malachite and there is no crystal. The crystal is then quartz, so you're going to be getting primarily entirely quartz. So if you if you do a crystal tower in a malachite, um, in like a canny valley uh, scenario, then you're going you can get I believe up to eight quartz for a single tower. You usually you'll get about four, but it depends on the size of the mission. You'll see when you do a mission. Uh, you look at uh, encampment missions, the encampments come in different sizes. So if, if you're doing an encampment crystal, uh, crystal encampment, you can look at how big the encampment is going to be. And if it's a large one, you can get up to eight, up to eight um, crystal for doing a single mission. So typically, though, you're going to get about four. You'll get four for your towers. You'll get four for your, I, I believe, your medium encampment missions. And, uh, and that really, in the field, is the best way that you can push for a lot of quartz. Really focus on the, uh, like the power 70 to 76 um, 
that's where you're going to still be getting you're going to be getting a lot of malachite uh, shadow shards not going to show up too often so primarily you're going to get mostly quartz for those so if you really need quartz badly um, that is that's that's like the golden range of where you find a lot of quartz is the highest power level mission possible where you're still not getting shadow shard once you start getting shadow shard it's gonna it's gonna pull away from your quartz production and uh, if you really need quartz then obviously that's not a good thing um, so my my advice to you if you really really want quartz is focus on power level 70 um, encampment missions or power level 76 encampment missions those are going to be your best bet now uh, the other way to collect quartz is really to to keep a look you know keep an eye on rock formations if you see any caves or if you see any quarries you are almost certainly going to find at least one quartz crystal node uh, the quartz crystal nodes are very very easy to spot they're you know a, a rock formation with all white crystals uh, poking out and you you break them down uh, they will give you stone uh, and, in, and up until you break it the last hit on the on the crystal on the quartz crystal node will actually give you your quartz crystal typically you're going to get one you might get more if you get really really lucky but uh, count on getting one quartz crystal per node and know that it's a very slow process and you do want to always farm any time that you see quartz on the field you can also get uh, quartz from storm chests and from skeet shooting uh, storm chests in particular you can clean them out and then you want to break down all the materials that you get from the storm chest so break down the weapons and uh, once you've recycled everything you should end up with actually quite a bit of quartz a lot of the the, the weapons that you're going to be making uh, will yield quartz out of them uh, depending on the weapon type and uh, as for skeet shooting, it's kind of the same as a storm chest. Storm chest and skeet shooting are very similar. Uh, skeet shooting, you need to clear, you need to hit 20 skeets to get both presents. 10 for the first, the, uh, 20 for the second. And, uh, and yeah, you'll get kind of the same idea. You'll get a bunch of uh, weapon materials and possibly weapons and stuff. You can recycle that. You can get quartz from, from there as well. So both of them are very, very valuable, very effective. And not only that, but you are actually getting more than quartz. These are just one of the best farming uh, missions in the game. So for, for getting weapon materials across the board, skeet shooting and storm chests are two of the best options that you can possibly do. Uh, you really want to take the time to, to go and break it. It's, it's definitely worth the time and it will build up your resource stores um, and uh, and really benefit you in the future, especially as it's a low level. A lot of low level players don't really realize the power of quartz because it's such a niche um, crafting material. By the time you realize what it does, you're like, oh, I've thrown away a ton of quartz. So low level players really need to pay attention and listen to this because uh, yeah, it'll save you a huge amount of heartache of knowing that you threw away so much of this material that you literally can never get enough of so anyway guys i really hope that this uh this helps you out helps you understand the value of quartz and how really to the best ways to get your hands on it um if you found this helpful if you if you enjoyed this guide make sure you like and subscribe leave a thumbs up ring that little bell and comment down below let me know what you think of quartz. Let me know if I missed any any good methods that you have found to gather a lot of it. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for being a part of my community, guys. Thank you for being a part of the Vash Core. Thank you for having my back. And yeah, thank you for helping me live my dream, guys. Oh yeah, uh, click right here if you want to see one of the other crafting material gathering videos. And uh, yeah. <laughs> What, what is it called, Meeks? Oh, yeah. Join the farmer's paradise. And uh, get your crafting materials today. <laughs> oh, yeah! Hey, guys. We're out here all day, every day, chasing our dream and uh, trying to build this community. If, um, 
if you love what we're doing here and you support the dream <laughs> and if you have the means to actually donate and contribute to what we're doing here i would really love for you guys to come out and support us on patreon it's the lifeblood of any content creator it's the only reason that uh that we're staying afloat and able to do what we're doing here and um if you have the means i would love for you to come out and support us and uh yeah help us keep doing what we're doing thank you so much guys <laughs>